Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2015 NCAA Division II Women's Basketball West Regional, held at the Alaska Airlines Center in Anchorage, Alaska. Tonight's game features Point Loma Sea Lions and the University of Alaska Anchorage Sea Wolves. Now let's meet the starting lineups. For Point Loma, at forward of 5'11 sophomore from Pittsburgh, California, number 14, Madison West. For the Sea Wolves, at forward a six foot junior from Glendale, Arizona, number 11, Megan Molly. For the Sea Lions, at forward a 5'11 freshman. From Temecula, California, number 21, Roya Rustamzada. For the Sea Wolves, at forward, a 6'1 sophomore. From Wasilla, Alaska, number 15, Alicia Devine. For the Sea Lions, at guard, a 5'11 senior. From South Riding, Virginia, number 10, Jessica Escorza. For the Sea Wolves at guard at 5'8", senior from Seattle, Washington, number four, Allie Madison. For Point Loma at guard, a 5'5", sophomore from San Diego, California, number 11, Anna Vitri. For UAA at guard, a 5'8", junior, from Galena, Alaska, number 12, Jenna Buchanan. And for the Sea Lions, at center, a 6'1 junior from Oxnard, California, number 41, Riley Abraham. And for the Sea Wolves, at guard, a 5'5 sophomore from Honolulu, Hawaii, number 23, Kiki Robertson. Head coach for the Sea Lions in his 16th season is Bill Westfall, and head coach for the Sea Wolves in his third season, Ryan McCarthy. Three games down, one more to go. This one featuring a couple of teams that look very similar. They're both wearing green and gold. One of the Sea Wolves, the other the Sea Lions. It's the University of Alaska Anchorage, the number one seed, taking on Point Loma Nazarene University out of the San Diego area. On the other, Gary Donovan along with Kurt Heider. This is the fourth quarterfinal game today, Kurt. And the uniqueness is, in the three previous games, it has been the underdog, the lower-seeded team that's prevailed in all three of those games. Seattle Pacific defeated Humboldt State. Cal Poly Pomona defeated uh, in their game. And then just uh, recently, Cal Baptist over Hawaii Pacific, 75-69. The toss is controlled, the tip controlled by UAA, but knocked out of bounds, and it will be Point Loma basketball to get things underway. Jessica Escores of the leading scorer will inbound the ball. And immediately a whistle. Officials will, I think it, the 30-second shot clock did not start. Still shows 30 seconds. And the official right on top of that. She was uh, gazing up that way and quick to make the adjustment. Now we're ready. 27 seconds on the shot clock. We'll start over. Escorza will inbound again. Vitri will go right back to Escorza. And now back to Vitri at the top of the key. Seawolves come out in a zone. And a three-point shot put up to open the game by Escorza, and she makes it. Three-point basket for Jessica Escorza. Well, obviously, uh, Gary, those are the shots they have to make. If they're going to find that little seam in that zone, they've got to knock those down, force the Seawolves to come out. But the zone will switch, too. It's what they call the amoeba zone. And it, it moves, it gyrates, it does whatever you need to do. It's a tough zone to play against. Point Loma 
Clears the midcourt line. That's always the first challenge when you're playing the Seawolves is just to get through the defense. Another wide open three-point shot is good. That's Madison West. And Point Loma off to the hot start and now a turnover. Sea Lions leading six to nothing. Just over a minute gone in this game. It's an interesting uh, entry pass on the zone to go right down to the baseline. Pass down low goes to Abraham. Now down under the scores as she'll kick back out. Here's another three, and it goes. Three point basket, Anna Vitri. Vitri has one, Escorza has one, and West has one. Seawalls have turned the ball over three consecutive yeah, times. They've come out very, very tight. And, number 13, Kiki Wright. and on the other number hand, Point Loma comes in as a number eight seed. They look very relaxed out on the perimeter, following through on their shots and then dropping them right through. A couple of substitutions for the Seawolves. This is very common. If you haven't seen the Seawolves play, they change rosters almost like a, uh, like a hockey team would do line changes. Constant substitutions. Another shot. This one will miss, but the rebound will come right back down to West. Sea Lions will reset. Vitri inside to Escorza. Back outside it goes to Rustamzada. Inside, scores a turn, shoots, got it. Two point jump shot for Jessica. Five points Escorza. for Jessica Escorza. And a quick timeout is going to be taken by the Seawolves. Ryan McCarthy not seeing what he likes. Team coming out just a little bit tight. A little bit tight, and, and I think defensively, they, they would really like a little more pressure on the ball because you'll notice that the last five times that they've taken shots, they've been fairly wide open. There really hasn't been a hand in the face. There hasn't been any challenge to that shot. That's got to change because they're coming out and they're feeling it right now, and that's not going to change until that defensive pressure starts getting out there. Yeah, if you're head coach Bill, uh, Bill Westfall with Point Loma, you're thrilled with what's coming out. You're playing the number one team in the nation on their home court with a crowd of probably about 3,000 in the stands, and you've completely taken the game Checking to them. For the Seawolves during the timeout, Jerrica Nelson. Jerrica Nelson comes into the game along with Sierra Afoa. Nelson will run the point guard. Jessica Madison also in for UAA. Jessica outside the arc will shoot the three. It'll come up short. Afoa tips the rebound to right. It was knocked out of bounds last touch by the Seawolves. Here comes the full court pressure being put on by UAA. Seawolves known for their defense and clearing with just one second left on the 10 second clock. Point Loma gets in, gets the shot. The rebound comes down to Kiki Wright. There's nothing like a good full court press to get your team engaged and get them into the flow. Seawolves play defense to create offense. That's They play defense first. Madison will shoot another three. That will come up short as well. And another strong rebound coming down to Rustam Zada. She'll take it all the way into front court and then pass off to Vitri. Reaching into Escorza, she turns, shoots, and gets it. Escorza with seven Anna points. Vitry. Seawolves have not scored. They're down by 13. Ball knocked away from Ali Madison from behind. Alert play that time by Vitri. On the far sideline, waiting to come in. Four new Seawolves at the next dead ball. Inside it goes to Abraham, turns, no good, whistle and a foul, she'll go to the line. Well, he'll bring in three fresh players. They've had a chance to sit there and observe this, and I'm sure he's told them, okay, do you see what's going on out there? Get out there and stop it. He's, the, the lineup is so deep, though, Gary, as you know, you've watched this team all season long. That They're bringing them in, and the folks that are going out will get a chance to take a look at it. But the folks that are coming in, they're fine. They're Absolutely. good players. Team never panics. Next free throw is up and no good. And Devine will 
pull down the rebound for the Seawolves. Kiki Robertson running the point. Puts up the three and buries it. Three for Kiki Robertson. Big games, playoff games, your best player has to be your best player. Uh, Kiki Robertson does not normally score, but she can when she needs to. She did in the championship game of the Great Northwest Athletic Conference playoffs. That shot missed badly from three in the corner. Rebound to Devine. Here's Robertson, head up, in transition, will pull back. Into the corner it goes. Jessica Madison draws the contact in the foul against Escorza. Well, the folks that, that he foul brought in, that Ryan McCarthy brought in, seems to have settled Jessica things a little bit Escorza, and got them first. back doing what and they the needed to do. Still, it's an 11-point lead for Point Loma, 14-3, as we come to our first media timeout. Division two, home of student-athlete champions. Point Loma already breaking their huddle. They're out on the court. They're ready to go. Seawolves taking a little more time to get out. Here they come as well. Seawolves will have the basketball trailing by 11 points, 14 to 3. Seawolves only shooting one of three. They've turned the ball over four times. That's the story of your game so far. Ball will come into Buchanan. She'll shoot the three, comes up short. Rebound pulled down nicely by Rusev Zada. She'll go the length of the court and lay it up, no good. Rebound will come down, and a whistle and a foul is it. Riley Abraham, the 6'1 foul junior, collect the foul. Devine will pick up the foul, or she collected the rebound. Devine will pick up the foul. Scores it, drives in. Good defense by Alicia Devine. Transition for the Seawolves. Good defense, though, by Point Loma. They got back when they needed to. Nice pass on the inbound. Megan Mullings, foul. She'll go to the free throw line. Megan Mullings will go to the free throw line. Mullings does that a lot. Unfortunately, only a 58% free throw shooter. But first team, all West region. Just named uh, a day or so ago. Um, when you, when you need the big points, you go down low to, to Megan Mullings. First free throw is up and good. Checking in for the Sea Lions, number 15, Alex Brum. And in for the Sea Wolves, number four, Allie Madison. Allie Madison comes in, and Alex Brunk in for the Sea Lions. Mullings' second free throw rattles will not go. And the rebound comes down to Alex Brunk, who's just checked in. Point Loma will pull it back out, set the offense. Vitri drives in, a whistle and a foul. This will be Kiki Robertson picking up her first personal. Seawolves have to watch the personal fouls. They play aggressive defense, and they're thin on the roster. Only nine players in uniform. A couple of injuries. Their best player, Leah Bonner, has in been out for the majority of the year. With an ACL, and then Adriana Dent, who is the backup point guard, been out for about six weeks with a broken foot. She may come back should the Seawolves advance. Shot up and good. That was Madison West. And that was a beauty off the glass. Sixteen four. Shot was no good by Devine. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up. Also no good. On the floor. Seawolf scrapping for it. Ball comes out. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by UAA. It'll be Point Loma basketball. Just the poise that Point Loma is showing so far here in the game against uh, the, this r relentless uh, UAA defense, which I don't think has shown up yet. No, I don't think so either. And you give Point Loma a lot of credit. Playing very, very well. Very poised, as you said. Uh-oh. Pass that time, however, completely out of bounds as 
It was uh, Vitri thought she saw someone cutting. There was no one there and threw it into the UAA bench. Allie Madison on the perimeter. As it, she can shoot from three, but chooses not to. Here's Robertson, gets into the, and they're going to call her for the foul, do a little jump step, and that's a, that's a traveling violation. I said foul, I meant travel. Ball knocked away, out of bounds, last touch. 3,000 people disagree with the official. Oh, the flashing hand, so quick. The hand is quicker than the official's eye. <laughs> be cool, Kiki, be cool. Stay within your game. Get that opportunity again before the night's over, for sure. It's on pass to Tonak, who's into the game. Now back outside. Four seconds on the clock. Throwing up a little bit of a prayer. That don't go, but a good rebound by Vitri. Point Loma gets to reset the shot clock. Relentless defense from the Seawalls. There it is. That's the frantic we're looking for there. Back out. Knocked away again this time. Into the hands of the Seawalls. It's Allie Madison. She'll pull back out. Seawalls will reset. Here's Kiki Robertson into a FOA. Back out. To Buchanan, she'll in the lane, shoot off the glass and go. Defense leading to offense right there. Yep. That's how the Seawolves play, but they haven't played that way tonight. Point Loma playing very, very well. Bounce pass into Escorza. That's who Great. you want to have the ball. Good defense put on by Kiki Wright. Rebound to UAA, long cross-court pass. Three ball by Buchanan, misses everything, and comes down to Alex Brunk. Yeah, Point Loma, a couple of times down the floor, they made great moves to get in a, in a fantastic scoring opportunity position and haven't been able to finish that one. They drilled. Three points from Alex Brunk. Seawolves with four players on the sideline ready to substitute. Is Allie Madison in, back out to Kiki Robertson, stops, pops. That will not go. She goes to the floor. Kiki Wright gets the rebound, hands it back off, and it's Madison who puts it up and in. It's a 19-8 to eight point lead. Ball off of the hands of Tonak. Seawolves will take over in the momentum beginning to build a little bit for UAA. We've come to another timeout. It's been all Point Loma Sea Lions. They lead 19-8. Please welcome to the floor the UAA cheerleaders. Relatively cleanly played game. There's only five fouls have been whistled. Three against the Seawolves, two against the Sea Lions, and we're nearly halfway through the first half. In fact, all of the play today, all of the games have been relatively foul-free. Complexion of this one, though, Gary, has changed just a bit. With Point Loma so smooth and so confident at right at the beginning of the game, now I think the pressure defense is starting to kind of, you know, inch away at him. Madison and Buchanan out there with Nelson Devine and Megan Mullings who has the ball 
tipped away from her, but into the hands of Devine. She's hammered as she goes up. So the three-point shot from Buchanan, no good, going to the floor. Travel or foul? They're going to say a foul. Megan Mullings. Lead official with that call, and the following one had his fist up as well. So one way or another, they were going to get a foul out of that. Pressure defense that the Seawolves played tends to pay dividends later in the game as the wheels start getting a little bit tired. They're used to it. Opponents often are not, but right now, Point Loma up to the task with a, another three-point basket from West. West with eight points. Yeah, you can pressure all you want, but you got to go get that cut cut into that lead. Throw the ball away as West took it away. Took it right out of the hands of Nelson, and immediately Kiki Robertson back up off the bench. She's going to come into the game. Nelson, good job knocking the ball away, but not able to come up with it. Inside the skip pass, held ball. Possession arrow is going to favor Point Loma, I believe. Nope, Sea Vols. They did what they wanted to do. They had the little spin move. They got the ball down to the baseline, but then right there got tied up sea lions want to take a quick timeout seawolves continuing to shoot pretty poorly three of ten 30 percent only one of five from behind the arc so 30 and 20 percent there and meanwhile point loma seven of 14 Four of six from distance, shooting 67% from behind the arc. Turnovers, well, they're pretty even. Point Loma's turned the ball over only three times. Seawolves, five times. Rebounds, also in Point Loma's favor, nine to seven. Six of those offensive rebounds. Mullings inside, up off the glass, will not go. Knocks the rebound around, it's on the floor. Seawolves come up with it on the floor again. It's Kiki Robertson stands around the defender, puts up the shot, no good. Her own rebound is up and no good. Here's Devine with the ball, backs in, makes some space. She misses as well, knocked out of bounds. No, it's in, and Point Loma with a hustle play comes up with it. My goodness, they are letting them play, aren't they? Outside, that's West. She shoot from out there. Now inside, Escorza loses the handle, and it goes out of bounds. You're right, they're letting him play. There's a lot of contact both ways. Resetting the shot clock, and that will give Sierra Afoa an opportunity to come into the game. 9.26, so we're halfway through. The first half, 22 to 8, all Point Loma. Continuing the trend of the underdogs. Allie Madison steps inside, puts up the shot, that won't go. Afoa with the big rebound. And a whistle and a foul. Who's it going to be charged against? Rus Manzada will pick up the personal foul. And it goes to Afoa, puts up the shot, good. Down 22 to 10, they need something positive every time down the floor, whether it's a point or drawing a foul. They need to, to have something the like that. Allie Madison puts it up, no good there to clean up. Megan Mullings, she's fouled, will not go. You, know, you look at the sea lines. This is their first year at Division II. They were an NAIA school. First year in the Pac West. First year at, at uh, Division II. First time in the, the playoffs. Very impressive. Mullings misses the front end. There's one more coming up.
Megan Bullings, one of three at the free throw line. If her average continues, she'll make this one. Does not. And the rebound comes down to Rusum Zada. And a turnover in the backcourt. Seawolves have another opportunity to make something positive happen down by 12. Quick substitution for the Sea Lions. This is Alex Brunk will come back in and spell Jessica Escorza. Inside to Buchanan, off the glass, no good. Rebound, Kiki Robertson back out. Three-point shot put out by Madison, no good. Afoa back to Robertson, penetrates back out. Buchanan with a wide open three, will not go. Here's the long pap out with numbers and driving and laying it in, Madison West. West, the leading scorer in the game now with 10 points. Seawolves are getting shots, cannot get them to yeah, drop. On the other hand, Point Loma making good shots and getting them to count. The Seawolves are getting good looks. Another one that won't go. Kiki Wright with the rebound. That won't go. That one's just thrown up there, and it comes down into the hands of Rustam Zada. Length to the court, up and in, Roya Rustam Zada, 5'11 freshman. Her first points of the night. Quickly on the other end, Buchanan answers for the Seawolves. Shooting percentage. Dismal right now for UAA. There's and another three for not, Alex Brunk. Not so much for, for Point Loma. Confident, too. You can see when it comes off their hand. Nice rejection inside by Point Loma on Ali Madison's drive. That one was just thrown up there by Vitri. But Point Loma hustling for the rebound, resets the shot clock. Wide open, no one was out there. And the shot put up on the baseline by Brunk is good. Seawolves won a timeout. All of a sudden, a big run for Point Loma and the Sea Lions. Stretch it out 31 to 12. Interesting, Kurt. I'm not sure what you would say if you're in the respective team huddles at this point. If you're in the uh, Point Loma huddle, what do you say? Just keep shooting lights out. I mean, it, they, they just really have played so well shooting percentage-wise. Well, what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you stay in the rhythm, that you don't panic. You know, so UAA is going to have to come out with some other kind of pressure, full court, half court, whatever, some kind of trap to get them off their game because right now that's a confident bunch. It they're, is. They're, they're hard to stop right now just because they are under control and they're playing with confidence. These, UAA is, is working so hard and so frantically and they're not getting any results. The frustration... Uh, of course, it is mounting, but it's just frantic. We talk about the defense that they play. When your offensive end is just as frantic as your defensive end, you're having some problems. You need yeah, to make and that's some why if you're Ryan McCarthy, I'm not sure you can criticize your team. I don't think they're doing anything wrong. They just can't get a basket to go down. Shooting 5 of 25. They're shooting 20% versus 57% for Point Loma. There's the difference in your game. Ball comes in to Robertson. She splits the defense quickly. Length of the court. She'll go all the way. Lay it up. Won't go. Madison can't get the rebound. Comes down instead to Abraham. Quickly. Up ahead to Brunk. Outside the arc. And now they'll reverse the ball. Pass down low. And Madison got a, or rather, Mullings got a hand on it. Steals the ball. There's a turnover for the Seawolves. To Devine down low as to watch the travel. Does not. Back to Robertson for the three. That clanks off. And a rebound. Another miss. And another rebound. Four point Loma. And defensively for the Seawolves. Keep the hands up. Keep the energy level up. Make sure that you pressure that ball out at the, uh, at the wing like they are now with a quick double team. When it comes back on top, flashing hands. There we go. There's the seal. Madison 
turns, spins it up and in. And the most important part of that play, Gary, was the finish. They've done that a number of times where they've gone down the court and haven't been able to pop that ball in. That time they were able to finish. They're going to get uh, Divine for the foul. There's just a little bit of a bump, but did deflect the ball. Divine will pick up her second personal foul. Wright and Madison back in for the Seawolves. No changes for Point Loma. Paola Roa into the game for the Sea Lions now. She has it out at the top of the key, fades to her right, passes off, back on the shot, no good. That was Rustam Zada. Seawolves with the rebound on the weak side. Up ahead to Jessica Madison, back to Robertson. Madison skips it down low. Mullings, this one will go, and she's fouled. Great entry pass, the one bouncer inside. Good strong post up down at that low post. A spin and a bucket. And again, the finish. First personal foul on Riley Abraham. Mullings goes to the free throw line. She's only one of four. Important one here for Mullings, and she gets it. Mullings with four points. Escorza will take the pass across the timeline for the Sea Lions. Nice skip pass into Escorza, but knocked away, stolen away. Right in Robertson. Has Madison on the wing. Shot won't go. Ball out. Foul is going to be charged. A couple of players crash to the floor. And it's going to be uh, Mullings. Uh, well, well, well set up by uh, Robertson on the drive. and uh, Maybe a moment of indecision. Yeah, you watch it on the replay there. Maybe a, a moment of indecision at the hoop where, you know, should I just lay it up over the rim? Should I use the glass? That shot doing good. Robertson with the rebound. Quickly up ahead, Allie Madison will shoot. Comes up short. Nice rebound, Riley Abraham. Can't find the bottom of that pocket. Save their souls in this first half. Coming down on four minutes, 31-17. Seawolves trail. And there's a travel. Well, Seawolves now starting to force some turnovers. Well, they were fortunate there because they, the Seawolves had bit on all of those uh, ball fakes. 3.58 to go. We come to our final media timeout of the first half. 31-17, all point Loma. number of substitutions come in for Point Loma during the timeout. That's the other thing the big lead has given them is the ability to substitute a little more freely and not tire on the relentless pressure that UAA can apply. Works out well for them. Buchanan behind the arc for UAA. Now Madison back out. You're going to see Allie Madison playing a little point guard. Inside it goes. And Kiki Wright. Scores her first two of the night. Down to a 12-point lead, 31-19. She's a spark plug off the bench, no doubt about that. Now the Seawolves with that aggressive defense, and again I'm going to bring out that point of over-aggressive uh, over on the corners at the ball fakes and the drive. Point Loma has been very successful when they take the ball strong to the hoop. As scores it draws the defense, kicks it back out into the corner. Three and Amy Ogren, Amy Ogren buries a three. 
Boa to Buchanan. I can talk all day long about defense. Point Loma's had an answer for everything here tonight. Well, they're just shooting the ball so very well. And the people who are joining us on NCAA.com in the San Diego area, well, you got to be very, very proud of your Sea Lions tonight. Playing very, very well. Three-point shot. Madison will not go. Rebound is tipped around. It's on the floor. And held by the Sea Wolves, tied up. Held ball, possession to the Sea Lions. Sea Lions in possession arrow. Number 23, Kiki Robertson. Kiki Robertson back into the lineup for UAA. Jessica Madison will sit down. A little frustration from Jessica, normally a very good three point shooter, although she tends to play a little bit better in the second half than in the first, but she just can't buy a basket tonight. Ball thrown away off the hands of Escorza. Ogren was looking for it, just threw the pass a little bit wide. And the Seawolves will take over. They're starting to get the turnovers they need. They just can't convert any of them into baskets. Afoa will shoot from about 10 and make that. Great release on the lefty that time. 21-34. There's a steal by Buchanan. Drives in, puts up the shot off the glass. No good. And a good, strong rebound. Who was that? That was number 15, Alex Brunk. Give her credit for a strong rebound in traffic. Siebels will bring a little more height as Mullings and Devine will come back into the game. Minute 44, first half. Escorza misses. Rebound. Held ball as Afoa got there to tie up Sidney Tonak. This time the Seawolves will get the possession arrow. That was a pretty cool shot. That was a little Nowitzki step back, and uh, I Mullen, thought that she was going to drill that thing. Divine, and in for the sea line, Gosh, you know, when you talk about a team not shooting well, you're thinking, okay, you're thinking perimeter, maybe the free throw line, maybe that's about as far in. But the Seawolves can't convert those short ones, the two and three footers that they, they desperately have to have. They've had nights like this before. Mullings inside, up off the glass, no good. There's another miss from short range and another strong rebound from Alex Brunk, the six-foot freshman, playing very, very well for Point Loma tonight. Yeah, good weak side rebounding there. She, she boxed out basic basketball and did a great job. Coming down on a minute to go. There's actually a minute eight on the clock. Another three will not go. Rebound by Devine, knocked away from her. By, from behind, and the foul is going to be charged, foul charged on Vitry. Aggressive as a coach, first, you're okay with that. First personal foul comes late in the half. Seawolves down by 13. Would love to get this back to within single digits at halftime. Eighteen seconds on the shot clock. Buchanan has it behind the arc. Long cross-court pass. Now there's eight seconds. Buchanan with another three. Will not go. Rebound. Madison. Oh, it will not go, but she's fouled. Allie Madison goes to the line. Good defense again Ball by Point Loma. 15 for the sea Lions, Alex well, she's not the biggest person on the court, but on that play, she had the biggest heart. She wanted that rebound, and isn't that half the battle in rebounding? Is wanting it worse than the other player? Allie Madison is a point guard in his linebacker's mentality. Back She's the epitome the of a seawolf, is what Sierra the uh, Foa, coaching Kiki staff will tell you. One more free throw coming up for Madison. Leads back to 12. She can make it 11. And she does. One more free throw coming, uh, or rather one more possession for both teams. The shot clock will expire before the game clock. Although with Point Loma's ability to offensive rebound, you never know. 15 on the shot clock. Escorza back out to West. Download wide open is Tonak, and she makes it. What a great Two look. The pass was better than the basket. Madison, four seconds on the clock, drives in, puts it up, will not go, tip will not go, time will run out. At We've halftime, come to halftime. It has been all point Loma. They lead by a score of 36 to 23. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. 
attention to the court is the UAA cheerleader. Well, back at courtside, just a 30 seconds or so to run off in halftime. And Point Loma, well, they tried on Cinderella's slipper, and it fit really good <laughs> for the first half. Take nothing away from them. They shot lights out. Looking at the statistics, Point Loma attempted 27 shots, 10 of them from behind the arc. They made 14, 7 of them from behind the arc. So their shooting percentage from distance, 70%. Seawolves, on the other hand, had 11 more attempts, 38 shots, made only nine of them, made only one of 11 from behind the arc. There's the difference in your game. Point Loma's the better shooting team tonight, and they'll have the ball as we get underway here in the second half. Seawolves need to find a way to get a stop, move themselves back within single digits. Point Loma needs to stretch this and make sure they continue to play, and they just do. Nice shot put up that time by number 21, Rustam Zada. Well, great patience shown in the offense, using up some of that shot clock, and then a slashing drive to the hoop in the finish. Buchanan inside to Devine. She puts up the shot off the glass, lost the handle, got it back. That's Alicia Devine's first two points of the night. There's a steal. The basket won't go. Devine gets the rebound. Up and in. She gets two in a row. And suddenly, it's an 11-point game. Oh, and they're going to call a foul on that. That will be Devine's third personal foul. Maybe just a little bit of the hip, maybe just a little bit of the leg, but an aggressive third, foul third in the backcourt there. Nothing team. else that gets uh, Point Loma's uh, backcourt to, to think about it. Seawolves really not in any foul trouble. Neither are the Sea Lions. Officials, I think, let both teams play in the first half. <laughs> Didn't time. whistle a whole lot of fouls. Three-point shot on its way. No good. That was Vitri. Rebound comes down to the Seawolves in transition. Here's Allie Madison. We'll give it back to Robertson. Over to Devine. She can shoot from out there. Instead, does not. Passes down. Mullings makes it. And she's fouled. Great drop-off. Great drop-off there. To start the second half with some confidence is huge for UAA. Seattle, or rather Seawolves, bring it to within single digits. It's nine. Mullings could make it eight. Well, Point Loma Mullings had to figure that UAA had a run in them sometime. This may be the first. 
Free throw no good and a good strong rebound by Riley Abraham. Escorza has it. We'll pass it over to Vitri and she's just going to stand outside by the arc. Now they're burning a little clock. Inbound pass to Escorza. The free throw line, she makes them from there. Doesn't, but the rebound pulled down by West. Madison West back to Escorza. Over around it goes to Rustam Zada. Back to Vitri. Knocked away on the floor, but back into the hands of Point Loma. Driving in, and an offensive foul going to be charged against Anna Vitri. Player control foul charged to number 11, Anna Vitri. Alicia Devine That's working second. so hard and out the there on the perimeter because she's got decisions to make out there. Do I come out and challenge a shot? Do I protect the baseline? And back and forth she goes. That time the drive took her down to the time baseline. Out, sea Lions. Sea Lions are going to take a quick time out here. You can hear the crowd beginning to react. This is the first time they've had to take a time off. They just need to talk it over, and, uh, and what their challenge is now is to get back into that confident rhythm that they had. What the UAA has done is what they had to do coming out in the second half, and that's create some havoc and finish some shots in the offensive end. Yeah, get it down to single digits first. Make it manageable. And then make it manageable and then try to get it from there. Sea lines, however, you know, they, they haven't played any worse. They haven't shot quite as well. But, I, boy, I like it. And that makes a big difference. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Makes all the difference when you look at the first half. But I, I think good, solid rebounding. They're still doing the, the things that they need to do. To hold on here, I think what the Sea Lions need to be careful of is don't let the Sea Wolves back in to where this crowd can get back into the game. There's a good 3,000 people plus here tonight. The lower bowl at the Alaska Airlines Center almost full. And these people just waiting to explode. People, I think, teams that play in Division II, particularly women's teams, not used to playing in front of big crowds. Seawolves always have good crowds. They're, I think, fifth in the nation in attendance, but this is a special Jackie crowd for them Seawolves, tonight. Number 13, Kiki Wright, and number 25, Jessica Madison. Jessica Madison and Kiki Wright come in for the Seawolves, who have the ball down by nine points. Robertson, top of the key. Madison will pop out. And a held ball. No, they said a timeout. Not sure what happened there with Robertson. You know, you know, she lost the dribble. She lost the dribble, and she was afraid that she'd pick it up again. She would be called for double dribble, so she didn't want the turnover out there. Now, whether she was in that danger or not, I'm not quite sure. Apparently, she, she felt like she was and didn't want to get control yeah. of that basketball back. Although, I think she would have been fine had she grabbed it with two hands. Just picked it up. Yeah. In any case, Point Loma... Wise, you know, every possession becomes very, very important in a game like this. And from the bench, Bill Westfall wanted to hold on. Now, I'm challenged whether or not there was possession enough to call the timeout. Anymore, that's the thing, though. And if you are in doubt as a player, look to get the timeout. Pressure in the backcourt from the Seawolves. Point Loma crosses the timeline, has the ball knocked away. On the inlet pass, on the floor, held ball. Seawolves couldn't come up with it. And who was the hustle play from Point Loma? It was number 41, Riley Abraham. Checking in for a little the defensive 15. deception setting that one up because obviously she thought that the, the defense was going to stay out there and come out to the free throw line and instead took a step back. Devine will come back in for right as the officials... Clean up some moisture on the floor. Seventeen twenty-seven to go. Ball comes in to Robertson. Dribbling against the double team. She reverses, loses the ball, gets it back. Long pass knocked out of bounds by Rustam Zada. She got to the passing lane, saw where the ball was going, got her hand on it, but unable to control it and knocked it out of bounds. Seawolves reload down by nine. Divine outside the arc. She's 6'1", but she shoots well from 
distance if you need her to. In it goes to Mullings. Mullings to Devine. Devine inside. Rips the ball loose. Puts up the shot. No good, but a foul. And Alicia Devine will go to the line. <laughs> gets, gets Harry down there in the lane, doesn't it? There was a pass, a one-bounce pass that really didn't look like there was going to be much room for that pass. It got through, and uh, she did the rest. Devine did the rest. Devine with four points in the second half now with a pair of free throws coming up. First one's good. She did a great job receiving the pass. Tried the strong post-up down there and had a spinning basketball come in on her. Lead down to eight. Made basket here. Draws the Seawolves to within seven. Here comes the pressure from the Seawolves. Point Loma. Very settled in backcourt. Skips the pass up to Escorza, who threw it away. She did all the hard work, got the pass, got it into front court, and then threw it away. Well, this, the, the, the zone was switched up a little bit, and obviously they didn't read it quite the way they were, would have read it earlier in the game. Robertson to Devine. Devine will cross the midcourt stripe and then give it back to Kiki. Into Devine, puts it on the floor, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound by Mascorza. Might have that have been a jump pass <laughs> to give her the benefit of the doubt. Foul is going to be charged, and this is going to be Kiki Robertson's Foul second. Foul charged to number 23 for the Seawolves, Kiki Robertson. That's her second and the second team foul. Normally when you get that Checking ball in down in the, the three, Seawolves, four foot Sierra range, Foa, you are instructed Kiki to take Wright it up and, and take it up strong. Madison. Yeah, I think at the last second you see somebody open and you wonder whether you should do that. Escorza puts up the three, got bumped. Didn't make the shot. Rebound to the Seawolves. Up ahead, Jessica Madison turns, fires, no good. Rebound. She gets her own. Followed the shot. Out to Buchanan. Puts it on the floor. Back into Kiki Wright. Up and in. Two points for Kiki Wright. Just four points for Kiki Wright tonight. Seawolves are back to within five. 38, 33, 16 minutes, second half. Well, now that you start getting the crowd engaged. Defensive stop, a finish. They're back into it. There's a three-point shot and a big one. Three-point basket Madison West. Madison West. Point Loma needed something good to happen. They got it. And now they get the turnover. And five unanswered points in a row as that one goes up Arroyo from Rustam Zada. Jessica Madison drives to baseline, gets cut off by the triple team. Passes around, Buchanan outside the arc. Dribbles inside, down low, Kiki Wright's wide open, puts up the shot. It's knocked out of bounds, cleanly rejected. Official and we timeout. will come down to artificial timeout. There's 15-16 to go. It's a 10-point game, 43-33, Point Loma. Checking in during the timeout for the Sea Lions, number 15, Alex Brunk. And for the Sea Wolves, number 23, Kiki Robertson. Seawolves will have it as we come back out of the timeout. Robertson into Madison, drives in, throws it up, will not go. Afoa with the rebound will convert. Rebound and two for Sierra Afoa. 35-43, eight-point lead, Point Loma. Into front court in the hands of Alex Brunk. She'll hand it off now to Vitri. Back to Brunk outside the arc. Pass in to Rustam Zada. Wojnilo just burning some clock, running it around the perimeter. Eight seconds now on the clock to find a shot here somewhere. Brunk has it. Knocked away. Afoa up with it to Robertson. In transition, head up. We'll give it back to Jessica Madison, and they'll pull up and reset. JMAD from the top of the key will not go. 
Rebound, who has it? It's on the floor. And coming up with it is Roya Rustamzada. Inside, outside. 16 on the clock. A three-point shot, no good. Kiki Wright with a rebound for UAA. Right into a Foa, turns, puts up the shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, that one's no good as well. And the rebound comes down to Riley Abraham. Sewell shooting better in the second half, 57%. Point Loma still shooting 50%. Long pass. Point Loma definitely going to try to run some clock down now. Works it for the easy basket underneath as Riley, Riley Abraham, Abraham gets her first two on the night, and the lead goes back out to 10. But that little uh, offensive uh, possession there is reminiscent of what, how they ran early in the game with poise and confidence. Jessica Madison over to Kiki Robertson outside the arc. Back to J-Mad. Top of the key, three-point attempt from Allie Madison, no good. Kiki Wright with the rebound is fouled. Foul charge to number Still not shooting, though, quite as well as, as, as they're capable. That's her fourth personal and fourth not, team not, foul. not a lot of the, uh, the confidence on the release that they need. And for the Seawolves, Megan Mullings, Jenna Buchanan, and Alicia Devine. Four-point Loma, Rustam Zada now with four Jessica personal fouls. Ball knocked away on the inbounds pass. Heads up, play by Point Loma. Seawolves were trying to find Devine, and they threw it right into the teeth of the defense. Twelve seconds on the clock for Point Loma. Bronk has it. Into the corner it goes. Now six seconds. Penetrate back out for the three. Made it. Green Anna Vitri. Anna Vitri. Huge shot. Huge shot. If you can burn that much clock and then bury a three, Buchanan with the two. No good. Misses. Mullings can't get the rebound. Comes down to Escorza. 13 point lead. Sea Lions have done a great job of weathering. And they're going to say the ball was kicked. And a foul charged. Now they're just going to say it was. Foul charged to Kiki Robertson. That's her third. Stuck her leg out. Caused the a. fall to the floor. Third personal foul on Kiki Robertson. Just under 12 minutes to go in this one. Shot up. No good. Good rebound, however by Brunk, taken away by Robertson. Who wanted that ball more than Brunk did. Buchanan into the corner. Madison shoots a three. Will not go. Buchanan with the rebound converts. Seawolves cannot buy Jenna a three. Buchanan. And they're generally a very good three-point shooting team. You can see the frustration starting to grow. And it's not because they're being contested. They're wide open just missing. Abraham lowers the shoulder, goes in, lays it up, no good, gets her own rebound, no good, rebound and a follow. That one Two by West is Madison good. West. Now that hurt because the Seawolves had numbers under the basket and didn't do their uh, due diligence in, in boxing out. Great job by Point Loma to sneak in there and uh, steal a couple of points. Back up to a 13-point lead, now back Two down points. to 11 is Alicia Devine. Devine. Devine carrying the second half for the Seawolves with eight points. Little nifty dribbling from Anna Vitri. Shot no good. Buchanan with the rebound. And very alertly, Alex Brunk comes over, knocks the ball out of bounds. Official timeout. Official timeout with the Fans, Seawolves trailing by 11. Sea Lions 50, Seawolves 39. 
Seawolves are down by 11, but they have the basketball. Under 11 minutes to go in this one. Number one team in the nation at risk at this point of falling out of the playoffs in the first round. Very alertly, Alex Brunk steps into the passing lane, steals the ball. Good anticipation. At the 10-minute mark now, halfway through the second half. So we've played three quarters of the game. Eight seconds on the clock. There's another three. Will not go, but a long rebound comes down to Madison West. They'll start it again. Ball knocked out of bounds by Jerrica Nelson. Fouls charged to Jerrica Nelson. For the yeah, for the Seawolves now, you, you, you assess your foul situation and you start taking some chances. You have some flashing hands, maybe a little bit of a lunch here or there to try to make something happen to get that ball knocked out and do what you've done best all season long is that have your defense create the offense. Abraham has it standing at the top of the key. Now kicks it back out. Vitri, long cross-court pass to Madison West. Boy, she's had a great game tonight. And it goes to Vitri. Passed over. Shot no good by Abraham. Seawolves with the rebound. Hustling it down. It goes to Buchanan. Cross-court way over the head of Allie Madison and into the crowd. Tough pass. That skip pass over the top. Back in for the Seawolves, number 25. Might be better off going around the, uh, around the horn to get that ball over there if you really need to get that ball in that area. Yeah, I think you see the Seawolves pressing for the first time just a little bit. Inside, outside game, four-point Loma. Vitri will pass out. Down to Abraham on the blocks. Back open to a wide open Brunk. Defense gets there. Seawolves now scrambling. But the shot up and good. Who is that? Escorza. That's her first two in the second half. Divine. Madison. Divine with a shot short. Knocks her own rebound into the hands of Alex Brunk. And how many times have you called out Brunk's name? I am so impressed with this freshman. She shows poise well beyond her years. Quickest shot that Point Loma has taken in the second half goes out of bounds. Seawolf basketball. A little bit more on Brunk. She also came down and she was the point guard. Now she is one of the, the taller players out there, but she has the poise to sit out there on the point and distribute the basketball uh, around, the, uh, around the perimeter. Very impressed. Yeah, she's just a freshman, six-footer, only averages four points a game. She's got uh, ten tonight. She brings so much more to the table, though, than just points. Jessica Madison kicks off. Shot from M Megan Mullings. Mullings has not played a lot tonight. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Buchanan. On a gallop into front court. To Robertson. She'll dish back to Devine for a three. That will miss just a little bit short and right. It's not the first time that Coach McCarthy has had his head in his hands. The shooting woes are just eating him up. When you're not shooting well, they always say you can always play defense. Well, the Seawolves' defense hasn't been too bad. It's just Point Loma has just shot so well. Ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be Seawolves basketball. Yeah, they're creating the opportunities. The last, uh, look, let's see, Seawolves. 38 and 17, so 55 shots that they've taken. Point Loma, 27 and 14, so 41. So Seawolves getting a lot of opportunities, just not able to convert.
this time, we proudly request that any current or former members of our armed forces please stand to be recognized. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these men and women and those around the world who have and continue to give us so much in service to our country. Seawolves have the basketball one more time. Seven minutes, ten seconds to go. They trail by 13. Point Loma has been ready for everything that the Seawolves have thrown them. Yeah, and you're getting now to the point where the Seawolves need to have that run. If they've got one more in them, they have to get that thing kicked into gear, and it's got to be a doozy now because I think maybe tiny little seeds of doubt might be creeping in as if they can overcome this. There's another missed three, a foe with the rebound. Back out, Jessica Madison. Another three misses, a foe, or Buchanan, another rebound. Madison to Robertson. Devine will shoot the three. That won't go. Megan Mullings will put it up in. Rebound and two for Megan Mullings. I don't know that I've ever seen this Seawolf team miss that many threes. There's a steal. Devine puts it up and counts. No basket, no basket. They're going to call her for the offensive foul. Really could have used that if you're UAA. You could have used that extra couple of points and momentum. Player control foul charge to Alicia Devine. That's her fourth personal and fifth. Have a player foul out of control foul. <laughs> she leaned into that basket and let fly. Allie Madison will check in into the, the game for Buchanan. Riley Abraham. And back well, the Seawolves have UAA, gone to all of their three-point shooters in succession, and none of them have can't, been can't, able to... Can't find one. Can't find one that's got the hot hand. Still within 11 points, however. And plenty of time to go. Ball partially deflected, but rebounded by Point Loma. They'll reset. Inside it goes back out to Escorza. This is a three. It's good. Two. Oh, they're going to they'll look Jessica at it later. Escorza. They're going to say two and they'll look at it. Officials will do that. There's a three launched by the Seawolves. No good. Rebound by Escorza. They'll signal the bench that they want to look at it at the next dead ball. Determine whether that was a two or a three. The ball gets knocked out of bounds. Seawolves will send in some fresh troops. In for the Seawolves, Sierra Afoa and, and Kiki Wright. Well, the officials go back and look at it now. Maybe they'll wait for the media timeout. Into a scores as she turns, puts up the shot, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds, last touched by the Sea Lions. Sea Wolves will have it trailing by 13. Time running out on the number one team in the nation. Inside to Afoa. She's hammered as she goes up with the shot. Afoa's foul. She Good foul line. by foul Riley Abraham. 41. Riley Abraham. That's the plus on that foul. for UAA is and an opportunity to pick up points without that clock rolling because the clock and is becoming a factor. Sierra Afoa. Afoa has not been at the line. She is a 69% free throw shooter. Gets one there where it counts. Misses that 12-point lead for Point Loma with the basketball. Escorza will dribble it into front court herself. Stolen away, Kiki Robertson up ahead. This is Madison. Scores. Two for Allie Madison. First two points in the second half for Allie Madison. Six on the night, well below her average. Seawolves are back to 10. Three-point shot. Will it go? Will not. Rebound and a battle and a foul. Oh, that was a great crash of the boards. Escorza going high and, and ripping that foul one down. To Sierra Afoa. That's her second. Second personal foul on Afoa. 
In for the Seawolves, Alicia Devine. Yeah, that was a Jennifer really Cannon nice offensive board. Not in the bonus situation yet, so just an inbounds play. Trapped in the corner, losing the handle. It's on the floor. No, now a foul is going to be charged from behind. Is that uh, Devine? If it is, that will be her fifth. Fouls on Alicia Devine. That's her fifth and final foul. Alicia Devine will foul out, out, and one of the Seawolves will have to come and get her. It will be either Wright or Afoa, I'm assuming. Here comes Kiki Wright up off the bench. In for the Seawolves, Kiki Wright. Going to the free throw line is Escorza. She's an 80% free throw shooter. She's the person that you want there. Makes the first one. Gets them both. Back to a 12-point lead. Madison to Robertson. Buchanan, dangerous pass into right. Inside, completely knocked away cleanly by Riley Abraham. Yeah, nice step inside, and then just the reach over the top to make the defensive play without the foul. Abraham on the other end has the ball. With favor returned by Buchanan. Jenna cleanly checks her, but docks it out of bounds, and it will be point... Uh, or Point Loma's uh, basket underneath. Knocked away on the inbounds pass. Here's Kiki Robertson. In transition, she's one on four. Puts up the shot, no good. Whistle, foul, going to the line. Foul trials to number 14, Madison West. Trying to find a way That's to step inside of that cushion that Point, Point Loma, Loma has built. And they built that At cushion line, early in the Kiki first half. Robertson. Maybe, what, nine? The Seawolves crept to within, what, nine, eight or nine? Yep. At one point. Eight points to one point. And that's, and that's as close as they've got. 15, point Alex Loma Brunk. been equal to every run. They got out to a 13 to nothing lead. And they've just been able to hold it. Since then, it's been a pretty even game. Both free throws go in for Robertson. Five points for her. Ball locked out of bounds. It'll still be... Point Loma's basketball, 418 to go. You know, defensively, you got to take some chances. You got to get in there, step in front of some people. You got some fouls, got to use them. And you got to keep shooting threes. I think you just, even though they haven't gone at some point, the cellophane bridge comes off and you make one or two. If you're Point Loma, you do just what you're doing. Pass around the perimeter. Burn some clock. Eight seconds on the clock. Escorza shoots. It's a held ball because it lodges. Alternating possession goes to the Sea Lions. Sea Lions will get it back. You don't often see that, but. Official <laughs> timeout. And we have a timeout with 3.52 to go. A 10-point lead for Port Loma. 56-46. It could actually go up one more as they will review this shot. <laughs> Crowd hasn't given up yet, but Point Loma has got to be feeling really, really good about their chances. And should they go on and complete this, it would be a clean sweep for the lower division the two point basket is under review at the 609 point. There's your review you were talking about. Yes. The shot at the top of the key. You saw the official immediately say we want to take a look at that at the official timeout. The official now telling the teams, go ahead, stay at your benches until we get a chance to look at this. So the lead actually could stretch for Point Loma up to an 11-point lead at 56-46. With 3.52 uh, and, and the three-point shot available, uh, that lead can evaporate in a hurry 
but not the way the Seawolves have been shooting. But I think you're right. I think you got to stick with it because that may be your only hope down the stretch is to start heating up all of a sudden. Yeah, you get a, a one or two to go, but again, I think that you know what we've seen from Point Loma. You know, just, I mean, for a relatively young team stepping up playing Division II basketball for the first year, this second half has been a real model in how to protect the, the lead. two-point basket at the 6.09 mark for the Sea Lions remains a two-point basket. Okay, so they, they have reviewed it will stay at two, so the score stays 56-46. But to finish the point, Point Loma passing the perimeter, burning the clock, and then burying a three. That's kind of been their M.O. They have the basketball with a fresh 30 on the clock. And Kiki Robertson going to be whistled for the foul. And this will be a one-on-one -on -one or a one-and-one one now. On number 23, Kiki Robertson. That's for Robertson, fourth. that's her fourth personal foul. In the second half, both teams shooting 32%. At the line. Seawolves 0 for 9, however, from behind the arc. So they're 1 of 20 from three-point range tonight. Vitri common, or calmly puts in both free throws. Buchanan into Mullings. Mullings back out. Three-point shot. Jessica Madison goes Three off the glass. Jessica Wasn't pretty. Madison. Counts. Oh, she called it. That's good. Now what the Seawolves need is two or three more of those. And they need a stop and a couple more baskets. Point Loma says, no, nope, don't need any of that. They're going to continue to burn some clock, force the Seawolves to foul. Inside, just throwing up a prayer Two is Madison, Madison West, West, but it goes. It's answered. 49-60, 11-point lead. Robertson back to Buchanan for a three. That goes. Three-point basket, Jenna Buchanan. So after missing 19 of 20, they've made two in a row. Oh, and a block from Megan Mullings. Timeout, UAA. Seawolves take, take a 30-second timeout. 235, it's an eight-point game. Point Loma has the basketball. <laughs> Just when you think it's out of reach, all of a sudden, it's within reach. A couple of quick threes and a block down on the other end. You've got some momentum going now. and. Coach Bill Westfall of Point Loma, I don't know what he did to, to, I'm sure he had some tape, I'm sure he had some conversations with other coaches, but whatever he did to draw up this game plan for this game has been uh, fabulous. He is in his 16th season at Point Loma, and he's seen a few things along the way. I, I'm sure he's been in some games where, you know, he could just see how things are evolving, and he, he coached up his team to handle UA's pressure right at the beginning, and they've handled it throughout the whole game. Two and a half minutes to go. Point Loma with the ball and the lead. There's a three, will not go. Robertson with the rebound for the Seawolves. Up ahead, they bring Buchanan to the wing. Instead, they go to Megan Mullings. She gets hammered, will go to the free throw line, but... Again, Mullings, not a great well, free throw shooter. For the sea Lions, Jessica well, and, and for the Seawolves now with 216, their margin of error is virtually nil. Loma. They need to come up with something. Up 1.2 points every Megan trip down, down, the, uh, down the floor. If she can make a couple here, though, Seawolves score with no time going off the clock. Makes one. Checking in for UAA, number four. Allie Madison. Allie Madison will come in for Kiki Robertson. I think they just want to get her just a breather for the final 216. I don't think she'll be on the bench very long. Makes them both when she needs them. 60 54. It's a six point game. 215. 
Can the Seawolves create some panic? No, I don't think so. No, Abraham no. lays it up and in. That was a great job on the Abraham. dribble drive of getting out of a potential double team up on the sidelines near the half court mark. Seawolves now have to control the pressure without Kiki Robertson in the game. Madison to Buchanan. Into right, right turns, puts up the shot, goes. Two for Kiki Wright. 56-62. Six-point game. Got to have a stop here. Got to have a stop down to a minute and a half to go. There it is. There it is. Megan Mullings. Up and in. Two for Megan. It's a four-point game with a minute 20. Timeout, UAA. The crowd virtually sitting on their hands not long ago, now fully engaged. And the Seawolves are now fully engaged. Seawolves are engaged, and I think, you, you know, it puts a little bit of that ultimate fear in the sea lions I mean, we've gone this far and now the wheels starting to come off but well, I, think they, a little bit. I think they have done an incredible job of responding to this pressure responding to the big crowd well we'll see what they've got here next trip down the floor and we'll see what the Seawolves have defensively because they can sure use another stop. Kiki and Robertson the back in the game, but better mind playing with four personal fouls. Good. She cannot foul. Pressure in backcourt. Gets to the hands of Escorza. She goes into front court, loses the handle. Out of bounds, Seawolf basketball. Checking in for Point Loma, number 21, Roya Rostomzada. Little offense for defense. Switch up there for head coach Bill Westfall. Seawolves trailing by four. 103 to go. Coming up on the one, one minute, minute mark. Remaining, one minute. Buchanan has it, circles the arc back over into the corner. Robertson tries, puts up the shot, no good. Right with a rebound is good. Two points for Kiki Wright. Two point game. 42, now 40 seconds to go. 62 60. Tough defense without a foul. That's what the Seawolves need. And scores and drives in and scores. No. Oh, my goodness. Offensive foul. Coach Westfall can't Player believe control it. control foul number 10, Jessica Escorza. He needs his assistant to make sure he doesn't come running out. We can watch it here on the replay. Escorza turns, drives. Mullings gets there. She's in position. Nineteen seconds. Seawolves trail by two. Don't need the three. Twelve seconds. A three. Go! Oh! Can you believe this? Not over yet. Eight point four seconds on the clock. Timeout taken by Point Loma. Couldn't hit one of these all game long when the moment was the biggest. They drain it. Timeout, Sea Lion. Now I wonder if they will recheck the clock. Did any time run off after the shot before the timeout was called? Officials huddle will they reveal? Just kind of soaking in the ambiance here. This is amazing. The game clock is under review. They are going to review the game clock. They may put 
a little more time on it. I don't think it will be a full second. We were talking, you know, back at the seven, eight minute mark about how they had one more run on them. They better get it underway and it better be a doozy. Well, they waited another moment or two to get it underway, but it certainly has been the doozy that they needed. Yeah, but with a one point lead now, they can play defense, but they cannot foul. They can't send Point Loma to the line or Point Loma wins the game. Yeah, they're but up. you know what? I don't know if they're thinking about that quite so much because, good Lord, they haven't had a one point lead in this game. They haven't had any kind of lead till now. But you're right, they have to play it smart. Sea Lions can run the baseline. They're going to make sure that someone is back. Don't let anyone streak. The game clock will be reset to 9.1 seconds. 9.1, and McCarthy is just coaching the full length of that floor. He's coaching the officials at this point. Ball comes in. And Rustam Zada drives five seconds, throws up the shot, it goes! 2.3 on the clock. Oh my Look at goodness. that point, Loma. What a great play. They've had an answer for everything UAA has thrown at them tonight. Give them credit for that. Rustam Zada, too. I am just, out, you know, she's only a freshman, 5'11. Averages 8.7 points a game. How many freshmen are going to have the courage to take a shot like that at that point in the Never game? Never panic. Never panic. Seawolves now, they say 2.1. I think there was a little more than that on the clock. I don't know if they'll review or not. Seawolves will get one chance here. Face Probably face some three-quarter court pressure. Yep. Will the ball? Where will the where will the ball be tossed in from? You're gonna bring Allie Madison in. Will they bring it up toward half court, or will they make him throw it in from the baseline? Looks like it'll be a it's baseline. All, it's a baseline. Baseline yep. throw it. Yep. yep. So that uh, adds to the degree of difficulty, no doubt about that. Well, you try to get the pass to the midcourt stripe, and then over to one of the wings, or you have Christian Leitner come out to the top of the key, catch that long inbounds pass, turn and shoot. <laughs> Not sure there's a Christian Leitner in the game tonight. There better be. There better be. Uh, it better be wearing green and gold. Well, both teams are green and gold, I'm so that's, you well. that's pretty much a given. <laughs> Seawolves will send out Buchanan, Robertson, a pair of Madisons, and Megan Mullings. Buchanan will inbound. Point Loma is going to pressure. There it is. Into Madison. She'll launch it from... Oh, she hit the glass, but it will not go, and the Seawolves will lose this one 64-63. to The wind comes out of the crowd, but Point Loma is celebrating as they should. What an incredible play. What an incredible day as the top four seeds in the tournament all lose in the quarterfinal round. The best seed left, well, that's Cal Baptist, the fifth seed. Seattle Pacific, Cal Poly Pomona, and Point Loma. Those are the teams that are left. And for the Seawolves, and particularly for the seniors, what a tough night. This is not the way you anticipated the season was going to lead. But for Point Loma, the season goes on. That long flight back to San Diego, you can put that on hold for a while. They're going to play in the semifinals tomorrow night. Seawolves lose this one. Sea Lions win it. 64-63 semifinals tomorrow coming up at 5 o'clock. And we'll join you then right here on GoSeawolves.com and NCAA.com. Final score, 64-63. Point Luma over UAA.
like that And I know you like it when it's just like that All the girlies just love my swag From my kicks to the way I fix my hat I'm back, fresh like some new J's Brody got next, NBA 2K, I'm too pay Shaded with some ladies, reppin' my city What's LA, baby? What's LA made me this way? Two rules, stay fresh, homie, get paid Hey, never broke and never bummy I'm from where it's forever sunny And I feel like Feel. Only new artists with an old school deal yeah. Tied the game by Steve Lobel yeah. So we always win, don't receive no L no. New girls act like they know me so well But I shows no love and be like, oh well, well. When my album drops, sure as hell gon' sell yeah. Stack cash and laugh like L.O. Man, I feel like L-O. money Man, I feel like money They attract you to me oh, yeah. They come around uh, like honey uh, They come around like honey Cause I'm fly like a bee oh, yeah. Man, I got them all buzzing uh, Buzzing, 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 buzzing like, like, Come on.